Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really easy flower chain keyring. So let's begin. You will need a clasp, some string, a crafting needle, a whole bunch of 12mm mini saucer silicon beads. Here we've picked three colors and also a finishing bead. And if you wish to add a charm, you'll need two sets of pliers. So first, you want to grab your clasp and fold your string in half. Then loop it through the bottom of your clasp, like so. Next, set your clasp down and split your string into two parts, left and right. And on the left string, bead three beads. Make sure that before this, you've decided what your color scheme will be. So in this case, I've decided that tan would be my first flower color. Once you've done that, take the right string and pull it through two mini saucer beads of the same color. So to make that flower shape, you will need to put your right string through the bottom of the last bead on the left string. For this step, I find that the crafting needle is just really, really useful and saves me so much time. Once the string has gone through the hole of the last bead, make sure you pull both ends of the string tight and make the necessary adjustments so you have a flower shape. If you don't pull the string tight, the beads could potentially slide around the string and it's just not a good look. So you want to repeat the same steps with your next color. In this case, I've decided to go for our blush cow print. So three beads on the left string and two beads on the right. And again, grab your crafting needle and pull the right string through the hole of the last bead on the left string. Pull to tighten. And you'll want to repeat the same steps for the last color. In this case, I've chosen linen. Once the last flower is done, make sure you grab both ends of the string and give it a last final pull to make sure it's tight. And now we're going to add the finishing bead. So the good thing about our stainless steel beads is that it has a large hole that will easily fit two ends of the string through. The finishing bead also helps to secure the keyring. Now tie an overhand knot. Make sure it's taut. And for extra security, I just like to do a double knot for all my keyrings. This is an optional step. Snip off the ends and you have your keyring. Now you can choose to add a stainless steel charm to personalize your flower keyring. And to do that, you'll need your pliers. So just open up the jump ring that is already attached to the charm. Slide it through the bottom of the jump ring and close it. Make sure the ends of the jump ring are flushed, otherwise there's a chance that it'll fall off. So we have a large selection of mini saucer beads and these are just a few of the best selling colors that we have. In 
in addition to rose gold, our 8mm stainless steel beads also come in gold and silver. Alternatively, you can use our 12mm shiny acrylic beads to go with your flowers. We've also got two sizes of swivel lobster clasp and it really depends on the look that you're going for. Some prefer a larger clasp like this one and others prefer a smaller clasp like this one. The choice is yours. We've also got nine different types of stainless steel charm designs and they're all really meaningful. So please be sure to check them out. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you found it useful and if you did, please like, comment and subscribe for more tutorials coming at you.